You throw in her here uh, with the dynamic duo from Wyoming. We're at the 38th Rig React Invitational. Kylie Sims out there on my right. Uh, Abigail Whitman on my left, uh, third and eighth overall. Uh, but a lot of courage, a lot of ambition early on, really uh, really pushing the pace, um, uh, making it honest uh, up front. Abigail, I heard you. Uh, you know, conferring with, with your teammates afterward, like just uh, you know, when, when you give so much early on, how challenging was that last game? Yeah, it was very challenging. It's You just really have to push and trust yourself in that last K, and I definitely had to trust myself. It was hard. <laughs> Kylie, obviously, you know, fantastic uh, uh, performances uh, uh, for both of you. Thank over you. Over 5K, you know, at, at Wyoming, and then, uh, and then again uh, today, like, I mean, obviously, I, I know that the group is is, cer is certainly trained, you know, for, uh, for you know tough courses and you know and, and longer distances and whatnot. But uh, you know, how, how did it feel, you know, be, uh, being on a, you know, on a really you know uh, honest, you know, difficult course uh, uh, like today, and you know, and stretching it out an extra K. Honestly, it felt great. Like it was a challenge and. Uh, going out like we did in the front, we knew it was a bit of a risk, but we wanted to get out there and see what we could do. We didn't want to risk anything. So. Most definitely. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, to be able to have that uh, uh, that, uh, that conviction uh, to, uh, to do it by, uh, by yourself, right? Yeah. Because I mean, obviously, you know, having watched your uh, uh, your program uh, uh, for so long, you know, there's been times when you know <laughs> former uh, teammates of yours, great runners, like have, have had to go out and do it by themselves. Right. You know, the fact that uh, that you ladies were able to, uh, to do it together, like, just uh, how significant uh, was that, Kylie, in terms of like you guys be, uh, being able to, you know, uh, to to be up in front and to dictate the pace for as long as you did? Oh my gosh, it was wonderful. Honestly, having Abigail there, I knew I was right where I was supposed to. Be and knew where she was and it really helps each other we push each other when it gets challenging and we stick together <laughs> so, Abigail, I, uh, other way. I, uh, I asked like Mason and Riker and, and, and yeah. Jacob obviously I mean you don't come here specifically uh, because there are other mountain region programs or other mountain west uh, uh, programs but it certainly is yeah, beneficial sure. you know uh, so i mean uh, just to be able to see familiar faces whether it's from colorado state and conference whether it's from utah valley and in, in the region and whatnot just to kind of give yourself an honest assessment and evaluation of where the group is on september 20th like yes. how valuable is that yes it is very valuable and it's very valuable to come to sea level and run a hard course and also have lots of other teams from around the nation and see kind of where we stand in the nation as well and see where we go it's very valuable most definitely. Abigail, I mean, obviously, already having the, the, the 5K at, uh, at home and, and then here, like, can, can you uh, kind of pull back the curtain as much as you, as, as, yeah. as you would like to and just kind of talk about, like, how significant and, and, and how beneficial the summer was and especially, you know, uh, August was because, you know, I think it's pretty fair to say that both of you are in a place of a uh, significant, you know, amount of confidence and belief in comparison to this time last year. Yes, no, absolutely. Yeah, like this being our last year, um, we've just seen so much depth in our team and so much growth happen in our team. And so just really making sure everyone's confident and having fun out on the course. Like we've seen a lot of growth with our team and all that through workouts and through races. So it's exciting to put it in a race. Kylie, uh, I mean, just how... How exciting is it to know that uh, it's like, what, you know, whether it's, you know, something closer to home, you know, at, at Wyoming, a larger field like this. Obviously, when you, you know, when you get to even a, you know, a, a, a bigger field, you know, in, uh, you know, in late September or you know, October, and then certainly, obviously, conference and regional. Like both of you know that uh, that you are more than capable of, of, of being up there in that lead group. Like especially, like Abigail said, like you know, as veterans, like how how exciting is that that, that you put in so much time and effort and sacrifice to uh, to. Get Get yourself to that point. Oh my gosh, it's so important and like right now seeing the depth that we have and this being both our last years to be able to have everybody up here like we are is amazing and it's awesome because we are setting our sights high and setting some big goals for us and the team and we're really excited to see where we go from here. Awesome. Again, third for Kylie, eighth for, uh, for Abigail, but uh, but everybody in the entire race should be thanking them uh, for how honest uh, they made it. Third overall for Wyoming. Great indication of where the, uh, where the women are on September 20th here at the 38th Rig React Invitational. Ladies, stay healthy. Congratulations. Thanks so much. Appreciate